Okay, hello dear friends. I'm in Stanford again. Okay, we are videotaping. Remember this gallery? Last time we came here and we saw two pieces uh, or many more pieces of uh, contemporary or at the beginning and the middle century, 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, 50s, 1960s. I mean, around 50 years ago, 100 years ago, the artwork. Now we are seeing the modern China artwork. It's a uh, it's quite interesting to see the art. This expression is so different. This piece of work is called Disconnection. Disconnection. It is obvious, quite obvious, the the, the expression of uh, of anger, despair, and uh, expression of uh, disappointment and. Uh, inability in front of uh, these uh, modern technologies, pollution. This is what I am thinking. Anyway, you see this picture, you feel. You feel sad, you feel bad. And it evokes another feeling of our heart. And, uh, Art is not only about being beautiful, it's about waking us up. And this is waking us up. If we always have the idea that going to a museum is to, to appreciate beauty and to improve our sense of aesthetic, then we may be very, very disappointed. And the modern art, a lot of time, art, especially modern art, is to challenge our thought about art. You like it is another question. I do not like it. I can see it everywhere. I do not need to come to museum to see this piece of work. I would rather coming here to distill my life, to purify my life, and enjoy something beautiful and pretty. But uh, it's quite debatable why do we, why we do art and why we have art gallery. And, uh, and that's beyond the topic of our discussion. So this one is a letter, and this one is another modern painting, which is called Untitled Landscape. Yeah. A piece of canvas. And this one is changing of identity. At the beginning, I was thinking the man was wearing a man's Chinese long, long dress, and then I realized he was actually wearing a woman's dress. Quite strange again.
you kind of find it hard to understand the meaning of it. Okay, now we see some, let's say, so-called art that makes me happy. This is a boy in the Yangtze River, the highway in Yangtze River. Yangtze River is one of China's biggest river. And there's a new bridge building up, there's new uh, highway building up, and uh, all these things start from uh, the very rural infrastructure. And uh, I think it, uh, it, uh, this artist is trying to to explain the contrast of new and uh, and modern industrialization and uh, modern lifestyle influence to the very very existing local and uh, and the rural existing landscape life is gonna change Today we still have these uh, pigs. Tomorrow there will be no longer, and there will be no land to cultivate. There will be no pig to feel, to feed, and uh, life is gonna be changed. And uh, you can see his face, his face with doubt, with suspicion and uh, with uh, worry and with uh, a lot of unknown. This is not a happy picture. You do not have the feeling of ambition, of uh, expectation. You, you have the feeling of lost, of taken away, and the feeling of just uh, a feeling of uh, of unknown and this one is Heiko skyline bird eye view this place Heiko used to be a small fishing village and suddenly it becomes the tropical forest of Siemens the forest of Siemens of uh, sky towers and skylines and uh, such a big conquest of old and new okay before the the museum close i like this painting i like it very much and this is the media and uh, the way of expression that I still I know and uh, comfortable with Li Hua Sheng. And this one is one of my most admired artist Wu Guanzhong. And um, he was trained. He was uh, he studied painting in China when he was young, and then he went to Paris. Agole Supérieure des Beaux-Arts in Saint-Michel, at Paris, and he studied art and was quite a pioneer in Chinese, uh, Chinese art. He was very good. He was, of course, very good. He started with the Chinese painting style and uh, did a lot of oil painting, acrylic painting, drawing very, very strong foundation and basic and was trained by the very classical way of uh, of oil painting of um, anatomy and uh, all these um, modern modern techniques he learned about shading light perspective and uh, at his uh, later age his uh, senior age he start to develop this new style and his life was very very uh, quite uh, alive he experienced a cultural revolution and went to countryside 
and went to Ganxiao. And in the countryside, he kept a painting and he painted with a, a farmer's basket and put a piece of wood and paint. And that was famous as basket art. Not painting on basket, but painting using basket as easel. And uh, now we see his, this painting is uh, so much. Okay, one minute. Okay, thank you. 